Hi everybody, welcome to this beginner HIIT workout from the Eat Move Thrive 30, available now at eatmovethrive30.com or on Amazon. This book has workout HIIT plans, it has a move mobility component which includes natural mobility, preventive mobility and HIIT workouts. You can find them in the book in the move section. You can build your own, essentially it's a build your own. We're gonna do a beginner one which is four exercises, one for your cardio, one for your upper body, your lower body, and your core. And we are gonna do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So we're gonna follow along. We're gonna go nice and easy. We're gonna relax through this. I want you to listen to your body. So if it's too hard, then just listen, slow down. It's not about doing it as fast as you possibly can. It's about getting the most out of the workout and strengthening during the workout. Listen to your doctor, get approval before you do this HIIT workout. This is a beginner version. You can go into the intermediate or advanced within the book. And this stuff I say to do two or three times a week so you can get your cardiovascular fitness as well as some strength going, okay? So we are gonna start in about 30 seconds. We're going to do air squats. So we're gonna be squatting down. We're gonna do a butterfly crunch on our back. I'll show you as we go. A tricep dip for our arms in a bridge position and donkey kick for our legs and our bum. The goal is tension, control, and actually working those muscles, right? Focusing on strength. We're starting with our air squats for 30 seconds. So everybody follow along. When you're squatting, think about your knees coming first. It's not a hip hinge, this air squat. It's about strengthening, pushing through the ground in a comfortable way without overloading your knees. Down at, up, at a comfortable pace. This pace should get you a little bit restless, should get you a little bit warm. That's the goal of this whole workout. Strengthen and get your cardiovascular system going. Almost there, and then we're into our rest. Perfect, last one. Our next one's gonna be a butterfly crunch. You're gonna be on your back. We're gonna have our knees and feet together, knees out, and we're going to do a butterfly crunch. So instead of a full sit-up, we're just gonna curl crunch up, but we're not allowed to use our hip flexors because by putting our knees out, that stops us. So I'll set up for that one. You guys can follow along, feet together, relax. And as we go here, we're crunching up, coming down. You can go on your here, or you can go hands above. Slowly crunch up. It doesn't look like a lot of motion, but what's happening is our core is engaging. Think about flattening your back so you're engaging that core. Coming up and down. Coming up. One more rep and our 30 seconds is up. Hold and down. So just try and hold at the top for a second or two to get the most out of that. In the subsequent rounds, we're gonna do some cars in between. I always like to do that. You can just completely rest, have some water, or you can follow along with some of the cars. It's some of the things I like to do in between. So we'll just do one rep of something, slowly getting that done. Our next one is our tricep dip bridge. So we're gonna go feet flat, hands behind like this. And when the thing beats, I'm coming up, I'm keeping my tabletop and dropping with the shoulders doing the work. So my triceps or back of my upper arm is doing the work here. So slowly, it's like a tricep push-up or dip, you would call it. But normally people would do this off the chair. In the beginner version, we're doing it here. Don't let the bum tuck down. Let the arms lead. Elbows reach back. Coming up and down. Perfect. So it should feel it here on this upper arm in the back. We're trying to keep that stable, our body, our core, so that it's just the arms going down, okay? The next one is a donkey kick. This is done from a quadruped or on your hands and knees, and we're gonna try and keep that leg stable. Again, just like we did there. So I'm on my hands and knees. I'm gonna keep this right leg in the start, and I'm gonna lift up. Don't overarch the back. We're gonna do two on one side, and then two on the other. Just to get a few more reps in, good. Try not to overarch, so keep your core tight, ribs down, slow control. 
maintaining tension. My foot is tight. Good. That's it. Whatever leg you started with, start with the other one next. Good. So that's our four exercises. We're going to repeat them on the 30 second rest now. We're going to repeat with our air squats, butterfly crunch, tricep dip in a bridge position, and donkey kick. So we're going to do the same thing over again. Grab yourself a glass of water if you need. And we're going to go into our air squats next again. Three, two, one. Lead with the knees, coming down. You can do these faster if you want, if your knees and your body can handle. I like to go slow because it's harder. I get more from my muscles. Good. That's it. Good. Keep going. 10 more seconds. All the way down. Good. Remember, this is beginner. Throughout the whole thing, you can modify. It's a build your own plan, so you can modify, you can adapt, you can pick beginner ones, you can pick intermediate ones, you can advance, depending on what you can do. Generally, I say do an upper, a lower, a core, and a cardio, in an intermediate advance, you do six, in an intermediate, and you do one of each, so eight in the advance. So it makes it harder and longer. Our second one is our butterfly crunch again, coming down, and we're gonna come up, and crunch and hold, and crunch and hold. Make sure your eyes look up towards the ceiling. That'll stop you from overarching your neck, and it gets you a little bit of relaxation through there. Think about engaging and crunching through that core, and again, and again. One more rep, coming up and down. We're going to be doing the tricep dip next, so I'm going to do a couple shoulder cars. Shoulder cars are in the preventive mobility routine. You can find out at thrive 30com or on my Instagram. We're going slow, controlled, other side. I'm just trying to move that body and keep it mobile, warm, and moving. Good. I'm going to show you from the side on this one. Good, coming up, we're dipping down. Elbows, reach those elbows back, dropping down. So this is a smaller variation than you would do with a chair or the classic one you've seen. But it's a good beginner variation to start. You get those triceps working, you get your body warm, you get your core tight. Good. One more rep, and up. Perfect. Next one will be the donkey kick. So let's try and do some neck cars. So we're tucking that chin, rotating, drop the ear. Cars are called controlled articular rotations or preventive mobility. You can find them in the routine, in the move routine, reversing. Slow, controlled, you can use them for warm up. You can use them for lubricating joints for preventive mobility. Into our donkey kicks. Tuck and squeeze. Good. Make sure your ribs don't flare, so your core is tight. Switch to the other side after two. You can alternate one by one, or you can do as I am, two by two. Good. Same thing on the other side. Good. Good. That's two rounds done. We have one left to go. Four more exercises. 30 seconds each exercise. Have a little bit of water. I'm going to do a spinal car. I'm going to rotate. Just like to keep my body moving. If you need the rest, sit down. Have the rest. into our air squats. Everybody squatting. Good. You go to the depth that's comfortable for you. You don't have to go as deep as me. Do what your knees can handle, what your body can handle. Or if you're even better, then go further down. 
Go to what's comfortable for you and listen to your body. This whole plan is about teaching you how to learn about your body, evaluate health, and listen to it so you can be the person who has the power to reclaim your health. You know your body. Interoception is that sense of feeling or what you're feeling, whether it's a sense of proprioception, a sense of imbalance in your gut, your stress, your anxiety, whatever. If you learned how to listen to your body, you can modify it. You can learn what works best for you, which foods are good for you, which foods are bad, which movement is good, which movement is bad. But you need to listen and go inside to your body. Right, next up, butterfly crunch. Last round. Good. Coming up, slow control and holding. So this is a butterfly crunch in the intermediate or advanced, there is a full butterfly sit-up where you come all the way up. This crunch again is a beginner. It's a good one to start with. Not too taxing. It's not hard on the spine. And last one. And down. Good. So as I was saying, learn how to listen to your body and you can reclaim your health. Two more exercises guys. Tricep dips and our last set of donkey kicks. I'm gonna go this way. So you guys can see for the tricep dips. We got five seconds, four, three, two, one, and dip. The further your bum is out, the harder it is on the arms. So if you move your feet further out, that'll make it a little bit harder. Or as we said with the other exercise, you can go up to a chair or something. To modify make this harder good halfway there come on ten more seconds good. keep the bum up make the arms do the work good this is accessible for everybody and just modify as you need to perfect and I'm gonna go facing the other way for that last donkey kick remember eat move thrive 30 Dot com. We're going to do a five-day reset in September. If you, can, if you want to try before you buy the book, you can try that. You can also try these workouts. So if you found this on your own, then I hope you're enjoying. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Donkey kick, last one. Control. So this is not about speed. This is about strength. This works your core, your bum, your glutes. Get a little bit of flexibility out of this. Good. It can be, this is just a compendium that I have in the book. You guys can modify and do any exercise for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, whatever works for you guys. So the cool thing about the Eat Moves Thrive 30, the entire plan is modifiable for you. That's our beginner hit workout from Eat Move Thrive 30 and we'll see you guys in the next workout.